Hi, my name is Anne. I have been out of the loop for the last year. I bought home two homes in November of 2020. How do I get an understanding of what do I do now? Who do I contact? I'm confused on what my next step is to kind of get back in the game of, not in the game, but in the awareness of how my properties are doing and how I can make money. All right. Thank you, Anne. Well, first of all, congratulations on at least taking action back in 2020 and getting started with real estate investing, getting two properties under your belt. Now, I'm a little unsure where, you know, if, if, if you mean that you're working with us at our company at Morris Invest, um, if that's the case, I'm just taking a guess, then just reach out to your portfolio manager, your team member um, who helped you through the process initially. Um, and, and, and touch base with that person about moving forward on adding a third or a fourth property to your, to your portfolio. Um, but it doesn't sound like that's the case because our team would likely be in contact with you every month, just checking in on you anyway. So you should probably already have a good handle of your, of your financial situation and your goals. Our team would not likely go that long without speaking with you. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to guess that it's not our team. Um, and if it is, then I'm going to have a talking with someone, but that's not the way we do it. So our goal, and, and I think this kind of speaks to everyone listening right now, what you want to be doing with your real estate portfolio. Like, so Anne is saying that she's been out of the mix for over a year. My question is, you know, what do you, what have you been doing in that year? Because one thing that I really try to drive home here on this show is, you know, once a month, sit down with your spouse, your partner, and look at your portfolio. You have to nurture your portfolio. So forget our team for a second. You know, our team will likely be checking in with you and making sure everything is going smoothly for you on a regular basis, but you should be doing that on your own. You should be sitting down, whether it's the first of the month, and you should be pulling up your spreadsheet. You should be checking your rent income, your rental income from your tenants and the properties. You should be uh, checking to make sure if there's any maintenance requests that came in, all of that's taken care of. You basically want to, you know, close your books out every month. That's something I learned from my father-in-law quite a while ago. He, at the end of every month, likes to close the book on the month. And I think it's a really powerful metaphor, you know, whether you're doing it sort of metaphorically and you're just glancing at your your status or you actually physically are closing the book, you know, dotting your I's and crossing your T's and and balancing your checkbook every month. So let this be a lesson to all of you listening. When you're you're an investor in real estate, yes, it is passive income, but you still have to be active in nurturing that portfolio. So, and next steps, um, if it's if you're not working with our team, then I would uh, you know start to scan the market. If you're not interested in working with a full service team like what we do at Morris Invest, then I would start to scan the market. Maybe speaking with realtors where you initially picked up your properties. I would go back and watch my video on internal rate of return. You absolutely want to make sure that the next investment that you're looking at has a very good, very strong internal rate of return. Like the properties that we sell are going to be in the 18 to over 20% internal rate of return. So you want to make sure you're in uh, making great profits. You're going to want to make sure you're in the best rental markets. You're going to want to make sure that nothing has changed in your market where you're investing so that job growth is continuing that there's not a higher crime rate. We just saw new crime statistics that came out this past week and uh, Indianapolis is at the top of the list. Toledo, Ohio is on the top of the list. Um, Philadelphia is number one on that list. Um, and so, you know, you wanna make sure that certain new things haven't changed in your, in your demographics. What do the businesses look like that are investing, that are moving into that area? Um, are there new jobs? Are there new healthcare systems? Is there a new university that's opening? All of those things you want to start to pay attention to. I would also check in with your property management company, find out about, you know, what are the rental rates right now in that particular market where you are? Are they going up? You know, are, can we increase rents when we have a tenant turnover in the property? All of those things are important for you to, to pay attention to on a monthly basis. Um, I will say if you're a real estate professional, so if you qualify under the tax status as a real estate professional, this is all time that you should be putting in every week in your business anyway, because you have to, under the federal government guidelines, reach 750 hours of, uh, of working in real estate uh, for you to qualify as a real estate professional, right, under the tax code. So you're, you are then an active real estate investor as a, as, um, instead of a passive 
real estate investor. And that completely alters your tax situation. You now become in a much better tax situation by being an active real estate investor. So that time, attention, and detail that you're putting into your properties is very important. You know, calling your property management company, touching base with them, looking at the demographics in the area, reading local news reports about crime and job growth and, 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 and vacancy rates, um, and all of those things are, are really important. So again, but um, if you'd like to work with our team, Anne, we'd be happy to help you. Um, you can just go to our website at morrisinvest.com. Again, we're building about 500 properties in the new year. Um, that's our target. We think we're probably going to exceed that this year. So you know, book a call with us, get on our waiting list, um, and we can help you through that process. We have financing built in on all of our properties, plus it's new construction and the best school districts. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and book a call with our team. So if you have any voicemail questions you'd like to leave, just go to our website, go to morrisinvest.com and click on the, uh, on the little microphone button there to leave us a 30 second voicemail message, and we will be happy to answer them here on the show. So now, at the very least, go out there, take action. Become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time, everyone.